Hi guys, Adam here. I'm with Abdullah. Abdullah, last time I stood with you outside Vicarage Road and you said, everyone's overreacting. Feeling smug today? Yes, obviously. <laughs> People who seemed to overreact last week and are a bit fickle, you could say, because under Ferguson, we had run of games at the start of the season or midway through the season, which were really bad. And I remember them, even the seasons where we won the Champions League, we had games where we lost two in a row and then dropped out draws. and. And, and we weren't sure if we were going to win the league and we were just chasing Arsenal at that time in that 2008 season. And people don't seem to remember that. You're not going to get everything perfect. That's what some of our fans need to understand. They look at City right now with Guardiola. They're the team to beat right now. We know that. But we're still in the process. We're 10 times better than we're under Van Gaal. Look at the football today. It's different. Uh, uh, Jose obviously took Greeny out and made a statement today. He, was, he wasn't keeping in the squad. It changed everything for us in the midfield. There was no one sort of breaking up, um, there was always someone sort of getting the ball, interchanging it between uh, Mata and Herrera, and that uh, and that was Pogba. He was just in between Mata and Herrera, coming back, getting the ball, and it was just great having him in there. You could see you could see the price that got, is obviously too much. We could see why we bought him. He's just changed everything for us in the midfield. Um, still, anything we could improve on, or are you happy with this 4-2-3-1? Um, and the way that we played today? I think um, the way we play today, we can't play every game because uh, Leicester are a poor side currently on their current form. And I, thought, I think um, Jose Mourinho took advantage of that and he played Herrera, who's a bit more attacking, but he, he did a great job. He gave freedom for Pogba and he kept switching in front of Bailly or Smalling, getting the ball and giving it to Mata and starting attacks from the back. But I think in some games, you're going to have to have Carrick in there and then maybe drop Lingard and have uh, Mata on the right. And, and play that way because we can't sort of go all out attacking uh, against every team, against Chelsea, against Arsenal, against these teams. You can't, especially Arsenal, they take advantage of you even though they're, even though they're not the greatest of teams. Zlatan didn't score today. Uh, he didn't, but you know what, it was, one, it was one of his best games today because I thought he offered more. People need to understand that Zlatan doesn't offer just goals, he offers more than that. When he holds up the ball, he, he always looks towards Rashford or he looks towards Lingard on the right. If he doesn't find an option, he lays it off to Mata, whoever's behind him, and he sort of helps attacking. He wasn't always in the box, but when he wasn't in the box, he was sort of he was passing it off to Lingard or Mata and then, uh, or Rashford and then getting in the box and creating issues in, in the defence's box and that's what we've been missing in the last couple of years. We, we bought Falcao for that, he wasn't doing it. Uh, Rooney wasn't doing it to be honest in that, in that number nine spot and either uh, offered us that, maybe he could do it for another season. But it's really good to have a, a certain number nine, hopefully he stays fit and uh, yeah, carries on till the end of the season with that form. Onwards and upwards? Yes.